Hey guys, this is Simply Imaginary People Frankie, and this is just an updated tutorial on previewing objects, clothes, skins, whatever in Blender. I'm going to do a skin just to make it easier, so I'm going to import a face of a toddler and a scalp of a toddler and show you this. So, the first easy way to do it, which isn't as nice but shows like it doesn't completely kill your graphics card, is if you click on the cute face, go to edit mode, and you have this UV window, which you can toggle here to UV image editor, and you're just going to go to image, open image, you're just going to open the face, image, and here you're just going to go to texture, you can see the face, and I can do the same, image, open image, and open a scalp texture. Go to object mode and you can see I can preview it here, which is the basic way I taught you guys before. Now, the nice way to do it, oh yes, and if you click five, <coughs> sorry, on your numpad, you get like this normal view. Um, there's also a nicer way to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from Blender render up here to cycle to render. And then you're gonna go to PU face and you're gonna click this little materials tab here. You're gonna press new. And where it says color, you're just gonna press on the dot next to it and you're gonna go image texture and then open. And you can do the same thing. You can open an image. Do the same with the scalp. Image texture, open. There. And now what's really cool is if you go from here to rendered, it'll render it. But you can see it renders it really dark. So we're going to go back to texture and we're going to go back to blender render. And you're going to go to this little world map here and you're just going to turn on these three. And then you're going to go back to cycles render and you're going to go back to rendered. And you can see this is a way nicer preview. This is how I do my preview shots now. Wait till it goes to 32, 32, then it's done. What you can also do, which is really cool, is if you go to the materials tab and you say open. So if you've already got one open, it's this little button here. You can also open PST files from Photoshop. Like this, this one has a different eye. And that means that if you're editing in Photoshop and you keep wanting to preview in Blender, then you don't need to keep saving it as a PNG or DDS to preview your skin. Just open, save your Photoshop file and open it as a Photoshop file. So yeah, you can also obviously I can obviously also do this with objects, so I can go to my paper hat. Oh, I want that paper hat. Actually, leave the toddler face in here. Go to import an object, like the paper hat. There we go. And I can go to that group here. I can also go to the materials tab. Image texture open. Nope, that was the wrong one. And open the image texture on that. Let's change the face to something actually normal looking. And again, go to rendered, and it'll render me my paper hat in a kind of cool way. And you can also, if you feel like it, here go to objects. Um, if you're in object mode, add lamp. You can add like point lamps and whatever in certain places if you want better lighting, but I usually just leave it like this. Okay, there you go.